So Van Damme, let us know what's your biggest record you think you got. The biggest, it ain't even. I wouldn't even say it's a record. It's like a freestyle, cause that's how I actually came in the game freestyling. I ain't get to say that. Like, so from the DVDs, that's how I been know me. You feel me? Like, so a bitch always wanna see me do that. Like, I'm always freestyling rap. You see what the first thing when I walked in here, what I asked you? Because mm -hmm. I be watching interviews and niggas be talking. I, that's why I don't do a lot of interviews. Bitch, mm -hmm. I want to rap. Okay. I want to show a bitch. I want to, before we say anything, I want to show a bitch why I feel like I'm that nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you first. You feel me? So, a bit always know me from that. So, one day, like, they, the, the, they started the Instagram. This is when the Instagram video started and shit. And my dog, Bree, he called me. He like, Bro, you see this So Gone Challenge shit they got going on? He like, man, bitch is going viral from that shit. He like, I know you would kill that bitch. I'm like, bitch, I ain't no Instagram rapper. Like, hell no, nah, I ain't, bitch, I'm not with that shit, bro. He like, man, that shit free. Okay, like, man. how the fuck you not go do something that's free and we around here spending all this money? That's crazy. I'm like, damn. And he the one who, like, put the money up, too. So I'm like, bitch, this nigga, he probably right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He saying some real shit. I go to the crib. I got on no shirt. I'm in a little plastic chair. I get the beat. I write a verse real quick. I remember that. Memorize that bitch. I told you I remember shit fast, bro. Like I wrote that bitch the same day. Remembered it. I called my um little cousin down the street. I'm like, come record this shit. We recorded that bitch. I posted that bitch. I put my phone down. I ain't thinking nothing of it. When I tell you my shit went to going dumb. I'm talking about Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, notifications going crazy on my shit. The most I ever had, bro, this, that shit did 3 million views in a week. That shit probably at like 6 right now. You can go on Twitter and it's like, when I dropped it, the bars that I was saying, you can go on Twitter and search motherfuckers saying the bars. Like, I got, bro, that shit was crazy, bro. 3 crazy. million views in a week, bro. And it was some shit I did for free, bro, like, that I wasn't finna do. That's the biggest shit I ever got, bro. And I call that bitch the no phone challenge because so, everybody who was doing it, they was reading it off the phone. Or they was writing. It's like had some shit that they was writing. You feel me? Like they was showing. I'm like, bitch, I'm finna. This is bitch called the no phone challenge. Bitch, you can't use your phone. Put that shit down. You feel me? Only me. It's like me and I say Tom G. Like, Tom G took off with Tom that G shit. Like, I say, me and Tom G, the only two people, like, who, like, mm -hmm. I feel like we'll be head to head. Like, if they was do a versus, like, on some, like, battle yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you on, and Tom G ever drop a music? Hell yeah. yeah. We got a whole bunch of shit that we did together. He done came to Palm Beach. I done went to Tampa. Like, mm -hmm. we got hella shit together um, from way back in the days. Like, way back in the days. And this but... He really took off with that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I salute him for doing that shit. Like, with me, I ain't... I didn't want to get, like... I don't want to be that nigga who, like, an Instagram rapper. Like, once you do it once, they like, what the next one? Like, you got to keep doing that shit. That's all they want to hear. They don't want to hear no music from you. They just want to hear your freestyle. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, like, didn't go crazy with it. But then I end up doing another one with, uh, what's the nigga who locked up from New York? Fuck. Damn. Damn, man. I don't want to say the wrong person. Fuck. The nigga was going through it with 6 9 he was going on with six nine. He was going through it with six nine. Fuck. Was, was, he, he, was he um signed with six nine too? No, he was beefing with him. Damn, Cat Casanova. Yeah, Casanova. Casanova did a challenge. It mm -hmm. was like the Brooklyn, so Brooklyn challenge, mm -hmm. and I did that Florida, the so Florida shit, and I went crazy on that bitch. And he posted, reposted that bitch. I okay, know he yeah. ain't reposted it. He liked it. Okay. He yeah. liked that bitch. So I was like, okay. And then the nigga Lucci did one. Mm -hmm. YFN Lucci. And then uh, one of my dogs, damn, I don't remember, bro, Instagram, fuck. I did that bitch, and everybody, like, on my Instagram was like, damn, that shit hard as fuck. And one of my dogs hit me on Instagram, and he was like, man, I know that nigga. He was like, I know that nigga will post that bitch if he hear that bitch. He was like, send that bitch to my phone. Mm -hmm. As soon as I sent it to his phone, that bitch was on Lucci page automatically. That bitch went crazy. Okay, then. My shit went dumb. It still ain't go crazy like the So Gone, but that bitch went crazy. To like Everybody was like, oh, yeah, he the one. Okay, like Because they had, like, a challenge where you get, like, a verse from the nigga or something. So they end up telling me, like, yeah, you win a verse, but you got to, like, pay for it type shit, some shit mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Like they hit me with an email and I was yeah. like, bitch, I don't you're like who the fuck is this email? Like, come mm -hmm. oh, man, bitch, call me. Mm -hmm. What's your phone number? Like, mm -hmm. man, I ain't. But yeah, that's so gone challenge. The no phone, I did the no phone challenge. Like, 
that bitch went crazy. I ended up dropping it on my mixtapes and all. Like my CEO G, he was like, "Man, make this bitch a single. Like, bitch, drop that bitch, get a cover. Bitch, drop this bitch. <laughs> okay, like, yeah. that bitch went crazy, bro. Okay, Three point yeah. five million views on Facebook in a week, seven <laughs> days, less than seven days, less than seven days. Super viral. Bitch, I ain't doing them numbers in Palm Beach. I don't care who it is. I don't care what you done did. You ain't that bitch. Three point five in a motherfucking less than a week." I ain't gonna lie, Van Damme. The Palm Beach, they wanted me to ask you, you feel me? The fans want me to ask you something. What was your relationship with the guy that had that Booty Bandit song? Shit, like, we, back in the days, we kind of, like, went at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was kind of like on some shit. Like, he from Revere, I'm from downtown. You feel me? Type shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, we from two different cities that ain't get along with each other. But like I told you in the beginning of the interview, I was born in Revere. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I got family from Revere. Mm -hmm. That's how I was, like, able to, like, kind of blow up more because it was like bitch i'm from i was born in Rivera and i like grew up downtown you feel me so it wasn't no like like i was you know how like some niggas be from they only city and like this other side don't fuck with you mm -hmm. like because they got a rap with us you know what i'm saying but it's like i didn't have that problem like the niggas who was older than us they had them problems like Rivera and downtown didn't get along mm -hmm. like if you get caught in the middle of the wrong side one of them boys they flip your ass you feel me so we grew up thinking that, like, bitch, we not supposed to fuck with them, you feel mm -hmm. me? So, like, I was popping, I dropped the year of the body slam shit, and, like, I don't never really speak on this shit. Like I said, you feel me? Me and you talked about this shit, I don't really speak on it, you feel me? Because, like... The tippy toes, not me, the tippy toes, they nosy You know, it's like... They nosy a little. For me, I didn't never really have a problem with it, bro, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It was never a real issue with me, you feel me? It was like, bitch... I heard you was dissing me, you feel me? I met you, you told me what it was, cool. We worked together, mm -hmm. straight. If I felt, I'm big on loyalty, like I said, if I felt a certain type of way, I didn't even hear the diss song. Mm -hmm. I told him, I ain't even hear it, bro. Okay, yeah. This shit, people probably never know. They always hear like we had like little friction, but they never really know the story. I don't never really speak on it, but I seen him speak on it in the interview. So I'm like, hold on, let me tell the story. Cause the way he worded it was like, we never really liked each other. Like, we always had shit going here, say shit. No, we never, we, I never really had no problem with you. You just felt like I was the best rapper and you had to come for me. So from that, you feel me, it started shit. You feel mm -hmm. me, I never had a problem with you. If I did, I would have never worked with you. You feel me, from the get-go. I did a song for him and I let him get on my song. So I ended up working with Hot, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like, we dropped a song and he like, oh, you dissing me type shit. And it's like, if you wouldn't have dissed me, you would have never like felt like that. You feel me? And the shit I said didn't really even match up. And then he felt like Hot was dissing him too. This some shit back in the days, you feel me? So it's like, we all was together on the label, but I just got to let bitches know because I don't want people to feel like, like the way he worded it was like, oh yeah, we was popping shots at each other all the time. Like, I don't want a bitch going back and listening to all my songs like, oh, he talking about Tweezy. Mm -hmm. Like, that ain't the case. Yeah. If you study my music, I always rap like that. It don't matter. Like, that's I'm a battle rap fan. You go always think I'm talking about something. It's like, if you would have never dissed me, you would have never felt like that. You feel me? But it's like, for me, like, if I hear a song and a nigga like, oh, fuck nigga, da 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 da, I ain't finna feel like this me by me. I ain't no fuck nigga. So, you can't be talking about me. You ain't say my name, so you can't be talking about me. That's just how I am. You feel me? But I guess it's different with other people, you know what I'm saying? But later on, we, you know, we had a couple, of, did have shots back and forth on certain shit. I drop a song and it's like, he'll respond to it and make it like almost like it's like, damn, like, he talking about me like like i wasn't i dropped the freestyle like the so like i just told you the biggest so gone channel the biggest thing i done did he made it about like i'm talking about him to the point where i got on facebook Bree hit me up like if you ain't talking about the nigga like bitch go on facebook and let a bitch know it ain't about a bitch you feel me kill mm -hmm. all that shit you feel mm -hmm. me be, be the bigger man you feel me and let a bitch know it's gonna make him look stupid like if you really ain't this really ain't talking about you going in public and let a bitch know like it's gonna look crazy you feel me and i did that shit. like bro I ain't, this ain't about my bad if anybody feel like this about them this is a freestyle i literally wrote that bitch right i didn't even want to do it okay, Bree told me to do it you feel me this is a freestyle bro you feel me i i just attack music that's how it is i'm going to attack bitch the wrong shit. whatever i feel like you know what i'm saying that's how it is and if you feel like the sh 
shoe fit is like damn like you know what i'm saying but i feel like if he would have never did that like this to me he would have never felt like that we would have probably had a different relationship but like we eventually got cool and got signed the lost key together and shit you feel me him and Bree got cooler or whatever but i just want to make that clear like i never really had no real issue with bro we never like he he said we never really did no street shit against each other we didn't but he also said like yeah we never really liked each other that ain't the case like bitch we was in the studio cooling with each other everything was cool he said he dissed me we was vibing in the club i bet it is what it is drop music then that's when shit went like you know what I'm saying? He like, damn, I feel like you dissed me. Like, bruh, like, come on, bruh. Mm -mm -mm. Like, stop making everything. Like, feel like it's, I don't like that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But that shit was back in the days. And, like, I respect G. Like, G told me. He was like, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that, like, you might feel like they hate you. Like, they don't, it's just, they want to be around you. Or they want to, you know what I'm saying? They they, you know what I'm saying? That's it, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just sometimes you got to embrace them. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And you won't never have to worry about that shit no more. And at the time, I was, when I wasn't trying to hear that shit. I'm like, man, nah, nah, nah. And he, like, uh, he was right. You feel me? We got a little understanding. Like, bitch, you over there, I'm over there. You feel me? We, you know what I'm saying? We do what we do with the music shit, but we ain't got that issue no more. Where it's like, damn, I might drop some shit and he feel like it's by him. Or I, you know what I'm saying? I feel we got that better communication where... He'll probably be like, damn, bro, you know what I'm saying? Pick up the phone. We don't really talk like that, but I feel like not since we done been on the same label. And it's mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it felt like that's that's all the nigga wanted to be like from the beginning. Like, just wanted to bring that shit together. And it's like, ain't nothing wrong with it. If you see somebody like that's doing it, you like, damn, I want to compete with that nigga. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I probably would have felt the same way. You feel me? But I just would have went about it a different way. I would have probably, bitch, let's drop a song together, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then you know how some niggas probably be feeling like, I right, like a bitch want to do a feature with Van Damme, like, but you ain't really got no name. But you feel like you popping. And your people feel like you popping. So they like, bitch, you got to do a song with us. And I'm like, bitch, you got to pay me. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't just get in the game like that free. I ain't get no verses from Trip like that. Like I told you, I was bitch Trip upstairs. I ain't. Mm -hmm. Do no song with Trip. Trip wasn't thinking about doing no song with me. Nigga, you got to earn this. Berg ain't just say you want to do a song with me. Like, I had to do shows on shows on shows. Keep saying, hey, bro, fucking with Coach. Hey, man, y'all need to lock it in. He, to the point where he was like, bro, when you drop, he seen me promote my album. He said, you better not drop that album, man, on it. Okay, then. Bitch, send me a song right now. And we doing a video. You coming to Miami to do that, bitch. That's just how you hit me on the love. No pay for nothing, bro. I forever fuck with Berg. It don't matter what. And Coach, whatever. Okay, then. Coach just hit me to come do a little shit with me and, me and Hot, like a little freestyle battle shit. We did that shit. He hit me, bitch, I'm coming. Okay. You know, no matter what, I'm fucking with Berg and Coach. Like, they did some real nigga shit, bro. It's, a lot, it's not a lot of niggas in the game that do that type of shit. He ain't have to do that. You feel me? And when I met him, I was like, damn, I always thought Bird was older. Mm -hmm. He was like, bitch, I'm younger than you. I'm like, what? He like, yeah, bitch, bro. I'm like, bitch, bro. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> yeah. you a legend, bitch. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to you since I was. He like, nah, boy. Mm -hmm. He like, I'm young, boy. I'm like 25, <laughs> boy. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck, mm -hmm. bitch? Cause mm -hmm. he been in the game so mm -hmm. long. It's like, I'm like, damn, bro. He like, bro, I ain't even go cap. He like, every time I get booked, y'all boys get booked with me. Mm -hmm. He like, I got to do a show. I got to do a song with you, bro. I got to. Like, I got to work with you, bro. I can't. Mm -hmm. So it's like a nigga work that shit up. But yeah, that's how that shit went with uh me and Tweezy and shit. You already know. What nigga it never is. really spoke on that shit, but that's like that's some history shit. Bitch never really told a bitch Tip what it toe. was. But that's my little shit on it, you feel me? Y'all know what it is. Facts. Tippy toe making history. <laughs>